Playing tricks on your brain is fun. She may not be pretty, but she'll be tasty. I'm all squish in the middle, guys. I don't know what to tell you. When I tell y'all that keeping on top of these medical people is a full-time job, I did not want to be a functioning human. Oh, oh that one's intense. Oh, no. Yep, that was messy. Good morning on this rainy Monday. It is the week of Thanksgiving. Things are gonna be a little bit crazy this week. I just ran out of my probiotic. I have some coming this week, so it'll be okay. So I use Amazon subscribe and save program with my supplements because I am terrible about buying supplements and things like that and making sure that I don't run out. So like, for example, this is a 30-day supply so I have them send me a new bottle every four weeks and it works out perfectly because then I have a new one coming right before I run out of the old one and the awesome part is you get a 10% discount for doing the subscribe and save just off the bat but if you have a certain number coming at the same time the discount gets higher and higher so like I have enough things on a subscribe program that I actually save like 15 to 20 percent depending on the day that my subscribe stuff comes so it's just a nice little way to save some money and a lot of my supplements are way cheaper on Amazon to begin with so the additional discount is just a bonus and I always have all of my supplements and everything linked in my Amazon store so there's a link down in the description for that if you guys are interested. I do get a small commission if you purchase through my Amazon store, but it doesn't increase the price to you. You are not obligated to use it in any way. It's just a way for me to centralize kind of all of the stuff I use because people ask me all the time what kind of supplements I take and, and all of that. If you want to know why I take everything I take, I'll link the, wherever it goes, my side effects video where I talk about kind of the side effects I've experienced and what I'm taking in order to help lessen those side effects or make them easier to cope with. Hi, sweet boy. Because it is the week of Thanksgiving, things are going to look a little bit different this week. I'm going to be doing some prep throughout the week. Not today. Today I'm just going to be editing my little butt off, trying to get as much done as I can so that I'm not having to edit and work when my husband is off because he's going to be off on Thursday and Friday and Saturday and hopefully Sunday. It is his weekend to work Lubbock, but we're hoping that they're not going to have anything for him to do. I'm going to get a long weekend with my husband, which is rare, and I want to make sure that I have time to spend with him instead of having to work. The sores in my nose are back with a vengeance. They started yesterday, and I don't even know if you can see, but this nostril is like fully misshapen because of how swollen it is on the inside. Like it hurts just to touch it like that. So last night I did my peroxide Vaseline thing and I need to do it again this morning but I'm gonna get inside get some breakfast in me um, menu is pretty simple this week I'm not doing anything too crazy I will be doing a new recipe for dinner tonight that I will definitely share with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. I'm excited about it because I watch influencers in the UK all the time and they constantly talk about how good Nando's is and Nando's peri peri sauce and we finally got it in the grocery stores here in Texas so I picked up a bottle of that and I found a high protein pasta recipe using the Nando's peri peri sauce. So we're gonna try that out tonight and see how it is. I'm pretty excited about it. It uses my best friend cottage cheese. So <laughs> we will see how it goes. Anyway guys, let's go get this day started. I hope you're having an awesome morning. Same story, different day. My kitchen's a disaster. Welcome to the show. Last week I did these, words are hard. What did I do last week? Something. Oh my gosh, my brain just broke. No idea what I was gonna say. Oh, last week I made these. Let's see if I can finish the sentence now, shall we? Last week I made these air fryer English muffin breakfast sandwiches, and they were really good, but very, very fiddly. Towards the end of the week, <laughs> I decided I was done fiddling, and I instead decided to um, 
make them into like an open faced situation where I just cooked the egg whites in a pan with the cheese and fried the I told you guys words are hard today it's the thing uh the um Canadian bacon in the pan and it was much easier also much easier to eat and it felt like a lot more food because it was two halves instead of a whole same amount of food but playing tricks on your brain is fun two pieces of thick cut Canadian bacon 150 grams of egg white and we're gonna add just a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of salt Bacon is done. Like for my normal egg, you guys know I don't bother with this. But egg whites are very prone to sticking. Whites in there. Okay, here we go. She may not be pretty, but she'll be tasty. Quick costume change here. Completely forgot about my shot again. This is a regular recurrence. <laughs> it's been over a year, you'd think it would be habit by now. First thing you're gonna do is sanitize the area. You can inject on the top of your thigh, the back of your arm, or in your stomach. I choose the top of my thigh because it's easy to show you guys on camera and I don't have anybody here to inject the back of my arm for me and I'm not about to inject in my stomach. It's better if you don't inject into stretch marks or scars and I have stretch marks all over my stomach. Also, you should be able to pull the area taut and I'm, I'm, I'm all squish in the middle, guys. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, anyway, then you're gonna let that alcohol or whatever you use to sanitize dry completely because otherwise it'll make it sting more. And then you're going to, when you are ready to inject, you're gonna remove the pen cap, which is this gray here. You're going to press it firmly to your skin. There's a ridged collar at the top that has an arrow pointing to a gray lock. You're going to rotate it to the left to the green unlock and then you're going to push the purple button to dispense the meds. Now it will dispense the meds into the cap. It will discharge without being pressed to your skin. You want to make sure you avoid a misfire and follow things in that order. So sanitize. That's dry. Cap off. The needle is exposed and it's easy to bend, so you don't want to take that off until you're ready to go. Press that to the skin, rotate, and press to dispense. Didn't feel that at all. So there's two clicks. The first one, oh, that was a delayed sting. There's two clicks. The first one is the needle coming down and dispensing the meds. The second click is the needle pulling up into the pen. So I had someone ask last week why I don't count to 10. And it's, if you look at the instructions, it says up to 10 seconds until the end of the second click. With Wegovi and Ozempic and all of those, it's a push trigger. And so the needle comes down when you push it onto your skin and it goes up when you take it off. So they want you to count to make sure you're giving it enough time to dispense the medication. With this one, it has its own timer. It dispenses and then when all of the meds are gone, it pulls and retracts the needle back up again. So waiting beyond that second click doesn't do anything because the needle is no longer in your skin. That's that. This was week two of my box, but I'm staying on 10 milligram for a while. So it's kind of like they all run together. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and get on with my day. I have a lot of stuff to get through today, so I better get to it. Thanks guys. When I tell y'all that keeping on top of these medical people is a full-time job. I called this morning to have Walmart refill my prescription, which my doctor told me had four refills on it from our last appointment. I don't know if you remember if I even told you guys, but last year when, or last year, last month when I called to refill the prescription, they didn't even have it. And it took three days of calling back and forth between the pharmacy and the doctor's office to even have them send my prescription in. I called Walmart. They actually have the 10 milligram in stock, which is awesome because they've been having issues with it going on back order, but they don't have a prescription. So I just had to call my doctor's office and be like, hey, so last time I had to call you guys because you never sent it. And then you sent it, but you only sent one month. You didn't send any refills. She's like, oh, well, I see here in the notes where she says you want refills all the way through January, but I don't know what happened. So apparently whenever I spoke with whoever sent the prescription over in October, they only sent one month instead of 
all four refills like they were supposed to. So now I'm waiting for a call back so that they can get it through to them so that hopefully I can actually get my Manjaro. I mean, thankfully I still have another two weeks, but the supply issues plus the coupon issues make Mindy nervous every month when it comes time to get to my drugs. Drugs. It'll be all right. We'll get it done. I already got the call. My doctor's office was surprisingly quick about it. They got it sent in. Walmart already received it. They're in the process of processing the coupon and all that good stuff. And <laughs> I should get a text soon letting me know I can come pick it up. Just got the text that my prescription's ready to pick up for 25 bucks. We're safe for another month. <laughs> Surprise! Hey guys. So, I'm still pretty much full from lunch. Richard ended up getting off early today. and Well, early, like around two. And I got so absorbed in what I was doing that I didn't realize what time it was. I hadn't had lunch yet. And he was hungry and he wanted to go to dose, so we did. And so, as usually happens when I have dose for lunch, especially a late lunch, I wasn't hungry for dinner. So, the Nando's chicken is going to have to wait until tomorrow. I'm having a protein shake just to make sure that I get enough calories today and enough protein. This puts me over 100 grams for the day, so I try to make sure I'm getting at least 100 grams of protein a day. And I do pretty well with that for the most part, but if you haven't tried these Fair Life shakes yet, what are you doing? But also, if you haven't had them with a little bit of ice, so that they're super duper cold, they're good. I'm just going to snuggle up with Helios here for the rest of the night. I, Richard already went to bed, and it's 7.30. I just forced myself to stop editing. He wanted to play video games after we got home from lunch, and you know, I get so little time with my husband during the week, it's hard for me to say no to him. <laughs> so, not that he wouldn't be totally fine if I did, I just... It's the people pleaser in me, you know. So we played that for a couple hours. So then I extended my editing time until later in the evening to compensate. So I'm still not done with Wednesday's video. I was hoping I'd be a lot further along than I am. But anyway, I'm going to sit here, drink my shake, snuggle with my pupper, turn on some Netflix, and try to deactivate my brain for the next several hours so that I can get some sleep. I also need to take a shower tonight, which I don't want to do. One of you guys had recommended last week on my hair loss video getting a high frequency comb and I found one on sale on Amazon that had really good reviews and there was even a review from an esthetician talking about the type of light that it had and the type of light that it didn't have. And I guess estheticians use high frequency machines. They have like glass diodes and they have different attachments. There's the comb attachments and then there's also ones for your face and they've been proven to stimulate collagen production and help with absorption of products so like the serums that i put on my scalp and stuff like that the high frequency comb if i comb it through with the well i have the serum on it'll help it absorb better and also help stimulate collagen production which in turn can help with hair growth so i figured it was inexpensive enough that i would give it a shot if you guys are interested i will put it i will add it to my amazon store for you guys uh, but obviously I won't know for a while if it's doing anything to help me. But I also figured I could use it on my face because I am starting to notice some fine lines around my eyes and my mouth and stuff like that. It's not anything that really bugs me, but I mean, it won't hurt anything for me to, you know, start trying to take care of my face a little bit better. So anyway, if I remember, I will show you guys be using that thing. Maybe I'll go electrocute it or something. It'll be really entertaining. I'll see y'all later. Good morning. So, obviously, shower did not happen last night. I was too lazy. There was way too much laziness. I did not want to be a functioning human. So we're gonna try out this high frequency thing and hopefully I don't shock the crap out of myself. This is the little glass comb. And this is the diode thingy. Slide in there. I don't know what it is about vivid colors, but like when I'm washing my hair, I'm still getting like blue and purple suds. Like I've never had that happen for this long with any other type of color that I put on my hair. And I was in beauty school, so I used to color my hair a lot. Probably.
probably going to have to refresh my own color sometime in the next couple of weeks just because it's already fading and I can't afford to pay the price that I paid to have her do this again in a couple of weeks. As much as I loved her and she did an amazing job, I just can't afford that. Turn this thing on. I don't know if you can see it. I don't really feel anything like when I first touch it to my scalp. It's like, if you ever played with those static balls when you were a kid at school, or if you had one? When you touch it and you felt like that little tiny zap, kind of what it feels like, but like not even as strong as that. So I should probably turn it up, but. And then it's up. You want to make sure you pull from the bottom, not from the top. That's how they break, because they are glass. Ooh. So there's this one that looks like a tongue. And that one. For around the eyes again, this helps with collagen production, so it also helps to absorb products. So, like your moisturizer and stuff, it might not be a bad idea for me to get like a vitamin C serum to do this with. Okay, well, that I feel a lot more. I'm turning that down. I have very saggy eyelids. It's a hereditary thing. My mom actually had to have surgery to remove excess skin on her eyelids. It's called ptosis or ptosis or something like that. Any little extra collagen I can get in those suckers would be welcome. You can smell, they did say that it like emits a little bit of ozone and you can smell it. Apparently this is really good for acne too. I don't usually struggle a ton with acne, but I do get it from time to time. It can also help with blackheads and stuff like that, which I do have a ton of on my cheeks. And on my cheeks. I'm sure I'm going to get comments from people that I'm doing this wrong. It does feel a little strange. And the last one, this little pointy doodad, goes in the- oh, that one's intense. Okay. It goes in the crevasses. Okay, that's enough of that one. Yeah, that one's a little intense. And then you just sterilize those with alcohol. We shall see what, if anything, that does to my hair and my skin. This is a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant because I'm gonna need to blow dry it today because it's way too cold outside to just leave my hair wet. We're already turning purple. Lessons learned. Pretty well it lasts, right? <laughs>
from Frozen and I throw some seasoning on it. I love these Kinder seasonings, like pretty much all of them, but my favorite is the Buttery Steakhouse. Kim Wadsworth turned me on to this stuff and it is so good. It's good on veggies, it's good on meat, it's good on everything. And then the Butcher's All Purpose. Um, I get these at Sam's Club, but they also have them on Amazon, so I have them linked in my Amazon store if you're interested in buying them and you don't have a Sam's Club membership. They're slightly more expensive on Amazon, but not, not by much. So I just generously season these with a little bit of both. And then I make a salad. So I take just some romaine hearts and shred it up. And then tomatoes, I do pickles because I like pickles on my burger. I forgot because I also like sauteed veggies on mine. So like, I'm not gonna do it right now just because I don't really have time. I'll do it for something. I will saute up these mushrooms and also some onions and I'll caramelize them together just with some of that buttery steakhouse seasoning and I'll throw that on with it. Oh god, that sounds so good. I want it. Choices are hard. I like raw onions sometimes. I have a cucumber in my fridge left from salads from last week so I'll probably throw some cucumber on there. Just whatever you like on a salad. And then for the dressing, I just do one tablespoon of mayonnaise and as much mustard as I feel like having, and I mix that together. And then with all the juices and everything of the burger, sometimes I'll throw a fried egg on top and that's really delicious. And the egg yolk mixes in with everything. It's good. It's literally one of those, just throw whatever sounds good to you in a bowl and shove it in your face kind of recipes. I'll do cheese sometimes, but not very often because I don't feel like like there's so much else going on in the salad that for the amount of calories it adds not really worth it um i'll do that on weeks where like i'm really struggling to get calories in like cheese is an easy way to just really bulk up your calorie count let's make the salad shall we i forgot guys i only do a half a tablespoon of mayo because it's really all it needs Christmas is coming. Start sending your letters off to Santa. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Be... Thanksgiving prep is in full swing. I have the bread for the stuffing cubed and drying. And I've got the bread for my bread pudding cubed and drying because those things can happen way in advance. And then I have some turkey wings and onions roasting in the oven. It smells amazing in my house right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little bit of prep to try and get a head start on dinner. I'm gonna throw the sauce together really quick. Uh, this is that Harry Perry chicken pasta that I've been excited about making. Everybody in the UK talks about Nando's and how amazing Nando's is and the Perry Perry chicken and the Perry Perry sauce. And Josh Wiseman just recently did a Nando's video where he flew all the way to freaking New York, I think it is, <laughs> just so that he could taste it. And he was like, oh, so honestly, it's better than what I made. Like, <laughs> Anyway, I'm excited to try this, the sauce, is gonna be interesting. It has cottage cheese in it, but it's blended smooth. So it's like a cream sauce, like a tomato cream sauce with the peri-peri in it. So I think it's gonna be really tasty, hopefully. I'm just gonna throw the sauce together and get the chicken cut up so that when my husband gets home, all I have to do is boil the pasta, throw the season or the chicken in the pan, get it cooked, and then basically warm the sauce through with the chicken and throw the pasta in. And that's it. Should be a pretty simple dinner. Let's do this. Before I lose my motivation. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was messy. This coming. Staying up late looking out the window. this pasta shall we mm. it's kind of like a what is happening here 
it's kind of like a slightly spicy, very garlicky tomato alfredo. It's pretty good though, and it is a very large portion. I am... We'll see if I can finish it. It's good though, and the texture is totally creamy, like there's no graininess from the cottage cheese at all. It just tastes creamy and cheesy. And tomato and spicy and garlicky. I bit my cheek at some point yesterday or today, and I keep biting it, and it hurts. And the spicy is not helping. <laughs> anyway, that was worth making. Very easy, super delicious, lots of protein. Two thumbs up. It is a little pasta heavy and not chicken heavy, so you could make even more protein by increasing the amount of chicken in it if you so desire. Starting to wind down for the night. I'm gonna have my final calories for the night in the form of a Fair Life protein shake and trying out another form of these heatless curls. I will, I promise I will share with you what works once I decide it works. I've tried this a couple times and it's been a little hit or miss, but a couple of times I did it when my hair was less than fresh. So since I just washed it this morning, we'll see how this goes. Today's been a, it's been a day. I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> I still haven't finished Friday's video and I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have tomorrow to work on it, but it seems like there's never enough time in the day. I'm sure you can relate. Not necessarily to the YouTube, but to whatever it is that you have that goes on. Really, if you guys haven't tried those, they're so good. I'm just going to sit here and try and let my brain just kind of stop for a couple hours before I pass out. Sorry I'm a little spacey, but thank you so much for being here. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, or just drop a line to say hi. Press that like button if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see from me. I would be happy to oblige. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.